Howdy all, I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you guys are safe and I hope you guys are healthy. My name is Josh and I absolutely love clothing, personal style, things like that. So if you're into that type of content, feel free to subscribe to me here on YouTube as well as follow me on Instagram at at wears underscore Galdo. So today's video is going to be about the Somar grunt boot. But before I get to that, I just wanted to apologize. Uh, I hadn't, or you know, at the time of me filming this, I haven't made a video in about a month. I've been very busy. Uh, with work and trying to take care of myself uh, mentally so I'm actually really happy that I have a chance to make a video but that's neither here nor there so today's video is going to be about the Somar grunt boot this boot is actually now one of my favorite boots just of all time and, I, and if you follow my channel for a while I've had a ton and wear a ton of different boots this one is 100% the best bang for your buck. And I'll get into why in just a second. So Owen actually does a really, really great job at like uh, showing you the journey of this boot and like what it's inspired by and all that stuff. So if you uh, want to hear it directly from the creator of this boot himself, hop on over to Owen's channel. Very highly suggested. I love Owen and his channel and him as a person. Um, I've met him once and honestly it was just such an amazing conversation and was super excited to hear that he was developing this boot. And I actually slept in on the day that it uh, released so I wasn't able to get it for retail but thankfully, thank you to Matthew Wintran, I was able to get a pair second hand. I did pay over retail and I was a little bit worried to see like, oh man, like is it going to be worth over retail and I gotta say, now that I have them in hand, 100% they are worth every penny. So going into how the uh, boots are presented to their customers. This is going to be the matte black box that it comes in. Somar logo in the middle right there, super simplistic. Um, I know a lot of people might ask like why I'm doing my own review when Owen's already like done his portion of it or well has presented it on his channel. But I definitely wanna give you guys a more consumer perspective on uh, my customer experience with the product. I mean, it's something completely different when someone who made it presents it to you as opposed to what the customer sees. But, um, I digress, the tag is gonna be right over here. The previous owner actually had taped up the corners of the box, which I have no problem with. I got a size EU42, which is normally a size nine. I'm a true to size, size nine, maybe a nine and a half sometimes, but uh, this EU42 fits me really, really well. Now getting into the actual boots. So here are the boots themselves. This is going to be the Somar Grunt boot. I have the leather lace option in place. They do come with a cotton laces with metal aglets. I prefer the uh, leather ones to kind of make it a little bit more classy or avant-garde looking. But right off the bat, I think the first thing that most people will notice is the sole. The sole is super, super aggressive, super chunky. Um, it has like just a lug sole, which is always great. Somar branding on the bottom there, and oil resistant. We also have like kind of a rubber spacer to kind of add a lot of height to the boot itself. So it really does give a super aggressive sole look while the upper stays this more sleek, nice put together look. So you're doing kind of both things at the same time. You get to see a little leather toe cap right over here, which I can only imagine is inspired by vintage military boots. And what I really wanted to point out is that the leather that is used here is so good for the price that he's charging. So retail for the shoe was $300, and this is an absolutely amazing boot for the retail price. So what I want to point out is that the leather is for the most part black but on the leather cut sections you get to see a peaking of the more natural brown leather and that tells me that once these are scuffed up a little bit more distressed and stuff you're gonna start to see more of a brown color underneath the black which i think shows two different dimensions of colors and is going to be so so cool to see them age over time and you can kind of see what that uh color is over here over on the heel, I don't know if the camera is able to pick it up, but over on the heel you have a Somar logo on bottom and then we have Somar on the back of the tongue as well as sizing 
as well. Another wonderful detail about this boot is that they are Goodyear welted and you can see that in the break between the soles and the upper right over here. And Goodyear welted simply just means that you're gonna be able to resole them once these soles wear down. So, so long as the upper is in decent to good condition, you're gonna be able to go to a cobbler and have them resold so this boot can last you maybe a lifetime. When you take the laces off, and I think this is the most interesting, one of the most interesting parts of this boot, is that the tongue construction is super interesting. It's kind of like this tri-fold thing that when you put it on, the tongue really will never slide to the side because it is gusseted to the sidewalls of the actual boot itself. Now in other like more work boots, this is going to be a feature that makes your boots waterproof, but it's only top gusseted and not bottom. So if you're going to be going and using these boots in like more extreme uh, weather situations, there is a space for water to actually leak in. So I would definitely say they're super, super practical and useful, but definitely not solely uh, function based. But I'm totally okay with that. As for a fashion focused boot, this is honestly so worth the money. And $400 is what I paid for this pair. So I did pay over retail, which was, I was a little concerned, hoping that like I wouldn't be paying too much for this. But honestly, $400 is what a lot of people pay for a really solid boot and that's what I, exactly what I think this is. This is both fashion forward as well as super functional and practical. So 100% these boots are worth the money. Not only that, but I'm also super, super happy to go ahead and support and rep a brand that I genuinely love and whose creator I really, I do genuinely consider a friend. Now in terms of how I want to wear these, I mean, they're just regular black combat boots so styling them isn't difficult whatsoever and wearing them with any pair of pants is cool i as of late have really enjoyed tucking my pants into the actual boot itself but i know some people aren't huge fans of that one way that i really want to try making it work this summer is going to be wearing them with shorts like longer shorts that go past my knees so that like i don't know maybe with the higher boot it shows very little leg but I really like that look as well so far, but all in all, these boots are unbelievably easy to style and I really, really love this pair. I think this is probably in the top, like, top three boots that I own currently. As for comfort, these are actually surprisingly comfortable and really lightweight for what they are. You would think that like with so much sole there, with so much like space and rubber that's uh, taking up all this uh, mass, it'd be super heavy. But for a boot, this is a surprisingly pretty lightweight boot and really comfortable right off the bat and is only getting more comfortable as I put in more wears and the upper leather is softening um, over time. I did hit it with some leather conditioner to just try and uh, expedite the uh, break-in process because the break-in process for most boots is absolutely awful but I haven't really had a bad time with these whatsoever but yeah that's really all I have to say about this boot 100% one of the best boots that I own and Owen did an absolutely amazing job at creating these and I mean actually one of the like promo things that they did was they uh, had this little short film that was made, which was absolutely amazing. So definitely go check that out on the Somar uh, Instagram page. But yes, this boot is incredible, 100% worth the money. Um, I paid resale and I still think it's worth the money, which I think is kind of rare in boots sometimes. Uh, things usually aren't worth the resale value. I think these absolutely are. As of right now, I'm seeing grailed listings for around $400 and I think it's totally fair of a price for the boot that you're getting. I hope that's everything you guys needed to know about this boot. Um, I very highly suggest them if you can get them on the secondhand market. I don't know if he's going to do a restock eventually, but definitely keep an eye on Somar because Somar has produced some absolutely incredible products. All right, and that's about all I have to show you guys today. I really appreciate your guys' time and sticking with me in this channel. Um, this channel is seriously one of the greatest things that I've ever uh, done, and I appreciate anybody who gives any of my videos a chance. Uh, I want to stay consistent, like I said at the beginning of the video, um, life right now is a little bit, a little bit busy, but uh, I will try my absolute best to keep showing you guys things and aspects of clothes that I appreciate, and uh, in turn hopefully you guys will appreciate as well. So thank you guys again. Uh, until my next video, I'll catch you guys later.